Hi there. In this movie, we're going to talk about fertilization, which is the way that we feed the trees in an orchard. Plants need food in exactly the same way that we do. Their food comes in the form of mineral elements that are found in the soil. Each element has a different function in the plant. Some promote growth, others promote fruit development, while others stimulate leaf growth. We can supplement these elements in the soil using fertilizers. There are many mineral elements in the soil. We're going to concentrate on 12 of them, the ones that are most used by the plant. Elements are divided into two groups, those which the plant uses a lot and those that the plant uses just a little of. The minerals that the plant uses a lot are known as the macro elements. There are six macro elements and these are nitrogen, phosphate, potassium, calcium, magnesium and sulphur. The minerals that the plant takes up in small quantities are known as micro elements and the plant needs the following. Copper, iron, manganese, zinc, molybdenum and boron. To determine the amount of macro and micro elements there are in the soil, we need to take a soil sample at a depth of 30 centimeters. This can be done by digging with a spade or burrowing down with an auger. Once we have the soil sample, we'll send it to a laboratory for analysis. Soil samples are analyzed once every three years. Leaf samples are taken in January each year and tested in a lab to determine the amount of each element present in the tree. Once the analysis is back from the lab, the farmer will sit down with the soil scientist to decide which elements he needs to add to the ground. The goal is to have a balance between the elements in the soil. Each element has a role in the plant. Nitrogen promotes growth. Phosphates are an energy source and promote bud formation. Calcium promotes fruit quality. Potassium is important for leaf development and fruit size, while magnesium plays an important part in photosynthesis. So each element has an important role to play and should be applied at the right time of year to benefit specific stages of development in the plant. Traditionally, fertilizers have been applied in granular form. They're broadcast onto the soil surface under the canopy of the tree. There are combination fertilizers available, such as a 315, which supplies nitrogen, phosphates and potassium. The first number, the 3, applies to nitrogen. The second number applies to phosphates and the third applies to the potassium content. Mixes are fine to use, but many farmers prefer to give a specific element when it is needed. They'll apply nitrogen at certain times, potassium at a certain time, and so on. More and more these days, liquid fertilizers are being used. Most commonly, they are applied through the microjets or drippers of an irrigation system. This is very efficient and cuts out the costs of labor and machine costs. The fertilizer is usually inserted into the irrigation system and mixes with the irrigation water as it travels to the orchards. The timing of the fertilizer application is very important. For the first six weeks after a tree blossoms each year, it lives on the reserves that it has accumulated in the previous year. The post-harvest fertilization is therefore very important. The tree must build up and store enough energy reserves to get it through the six-week period without stress. The post-harvest fertilization is the main nitrogen application. This is done in mid-March or April after the crop has been harvested, giving the tree enough time to take up and store the reserves before it becomes dormant at the start of the winter. This large nitrogen application should be done just after the cooler weather has set in as new shoot growth before winter is not desirable. Of the remaining total nitrogen application, 
30% is applied just after petal drop and 20% is applied 6 weeks later. The 20% application is optional and is done if the farmer feels that the 30% application after petal drop did not promote enough growth in the tree or if the leaf colour is not correct. Potassium is normally given in spring, usually also 6 weeks after petal drop. It's taken up by the plant very quickly and is responsible for enlarging the cells in the fruit. So potassium is a very important element to apply to get large fruit on the tree. Phosphate stays in the soil for a long time, so application time is not terribly important. Normally it's applied post-harvest. Liming, the process that supplies calcium to the soil, is done in winter. An interesting point is that by international law, farmers must use an expert to determine the farm's fertilizer needs. They may not choose and apply fertilizers on their own. This is to prevent the polluting of streams and underground water.